I'm Rebecca Jarvis from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, where General Motors shares debuted this morning to the sound of a revving up car engine and cheers. They debuted above $35 a share, well above the price where they priced last night at 33 Of course, this is a huge milestone for the company as well as for the country, which lent General Motors less than two years ago $50 billion to save them from collapse. Well, part of that money will be paid back as a result of this transaction. And this is what the CEO, Dan Ackerson, had to say about General Motors and its future earlier today from the floor. What does General Motors have to do to return all of that $50 billion in taxpayer bailout? We have to design, build, and sell the best cars available in the world. And we're doing that. Give me some examples of the types of new things that consumers here in the United States are going to see out of General Motors in the years to come. Electric cars are first and foremost uh, when you ask about new innovations. In fact, Motor Trend this week just named the Volt Car of the Year. And the way they described it, they expected a science project, they got a moonshot. In terms of new hiring, of course, General Motors has had to significantly downsize throughout the bankruptcy and to get back on track. Do you expect to see General Motors here in the United States hiring new employees before the end of the year or early in next year? Well, actually, just in the last 12 months, we've hired almost 7,300 new people in North America, most of those in the United States, as our production levels have grown because demand for our cars has grown. Who's your most important consumer right now? So much of the new demand for cars is coming from China. Is the Chinese market the future of the auto industry? It's an important market, but I would say in terms of profit right now, the majority of our profits originate in North America. Uh, we're in a joint venture with SAIC, Shanghai Auto, which has been a great partnership for us. And we've grown market share. We have the largest market share in China. But uh, right now, in terms of profitability, it comes from North America. Right now, but in the future, do you have to gain more profitability overseas to stay competitive in the global market? Sure. We're going to have to grow in every market. I mean, we're doing well in all of the BRIC countries, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Uh, Latin America has been a great market traditionally for General Motors, and we're investing heavily there as well.